As we get accustomed to free-floating timelessness and emotional attachments begin to drift away, a new awareness of our relationship with others begins to form. Our relationships will naturally begin to morph into a higher level of respect and compassion for one another, and we will return to our original childlike state of being. At the moment of birth, we arrive on the earth plane as pure and innocent souls. We were so free, without society's limited programming, understanding, or belief systems. We had an all-accepting, all-allowing, non-judgmental, unconditional love within. We simply gave our love with no concern of its return. Our natural connection to Source ensured it was always radiating inside of us. Our duality was born in the days of childhood, when we felt the first judgment, the first experience of the essence of conditional love. We were taught external acceptance was required to flourish and to be accepted in our society. This was the first step in the corruption of our connection with source energy. From this place of self-condemnation, we attempted to experience love from external sources. Instead of finding reciprocal ways to share this reservoir of love within, the grand hypnosis of society establishes this state of mind when we are young and susceptible. Yet this type of action will never fill the void created by separation from source. As we get closer to 2012 and the Golden Age, a new energy rekindles our original connection and asks us to return to our true nature. We can no longer hold together the structures of our lives with the facade of being accepted by others. There is only one place to go, and that is within. This is the only place source energy can be found. How long are you willing to suffer by continuing to look outside of yourself instead of within? How long are you willing to wait to receive all you desire from the world around you when the answer has always been inside? How much pain will it take for you to be willing to stop living the delusion and start listening to the quiet loving voice inside that remembers the pure and innocent love you came to share with the world. The gifts of 2012 have already begun appearing. Our relationships will be built on truth and transparency. Those who were merely empathic will become telepathic. Those who were telepathic will now become transparent. There will be nothing to hide as pure love embraces our totality. This is for the benefit of all. As a collective community, unconditional love and support will be the new standard for all relationships. We will mirror back to those around us all that lies within what will you be reflecting back from your mirror? With these new energies available, what will you choose? As creator beings, we are responsible for creating our own happiness. We are a force of love that empowers and serves the larger group we are a part of. Everything we do is love reflecting back all the best the world has to offer. It is time to claim our true power and believe in our ability 
to create the relationships we desire. Connect to the web of life through love. With every moment we draw closer to 2012, we expand our awareness, join a higher flow of love, and harmonize with energies about and around us. Know love is the most powerful energy in the universe. Love creates miracles, heals all wounds, and purifies all lower energies. Be love and make the vibratory jump into the fifth dimensional relationships. The world is waiting.